This is Ed Brzee with Boomer Tech Adventures. Remember we said yesterday that we were going to start a series of uh, Facebook Lives that we would send you every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is number two of those and I'm going to talk to you just a little bit. Uh, Boomer Tech Adventures, as the name implies, talks to boomers, works with boomers, helping them to learn how to use their personal technology. And that's what we do through our blog post, our YouTube channel, an online course, and a number of other things, including our Facebook Lives. So in the next few weeks, given the coronavirus and all the changes that are going on in our lives, we're going to do these Facebook Lives that hopefully speak to uh, you and will be inspirational and will be helpful, especially around use, really using your tech. Um, today, uh, yesterday, we did the first one with Chris Toy. Hopefully you saw the, um, the great recipe that Master Chef Chris Toy put up, one of our Boomer Tech Adventures guides. And tomorrow you'll see Jill Spencer, our third Boomer Tech Adventures guide, who will start talking to you about some great reads, uh, as we all have a little more time to read during this uh, unusual time. Um, and that's every day at 2 p.m. Uh, will be Facebook Lives right here on our Boomer Tech Adventures uh, uh, Facebook page. Okay, so I thought today that I would spend just a couple minutes with you um, talking about how we're coping. As you can see, my wife Connie and I have been to the grocery store. We're stocked up, not like some people who have bought uh, six months to a year's worth of toilet paper, but we figure we'll be okay. But seriously, here are four things that I'm trying to do right now to in this new normal. Number one, uh, with my technology, selective reading. I'm not gonna keep my phone by my bed anymore. I'm gonna keep it out away. I'm not gonna read it the first thing in the morning. And I'm really gonna try to stay off uh, uh, social media and not obsess about all the things that are going on. It's one thing to be informed, that's great, but to obsess about it and to worry about it, that's not gonna help any of us. That's one thing I'm gonna do. The second thing I'm gonna do, as you can tell on my 1948 uh, exercise bike right now, um, I'm going to continue exercise, and as soon as I'm done here, I'm out, out for a run with my favorite dog, Choby. So exercise is really important, keep that up. Uh, number three, help others. Uh, I'm involved in my church we're, and we're looking at a number of things on ways to help other people get groceries, get medicine, take people to the doctors and so on and so forth and just to, uh, to help people out as much as we can. Uh, that's another thing that I'm going to do and we all need to do, I think. And number four, uh, stay connected. And, I'm, and here's where the technology comes in. I've uh, decided that I really want to spend some time connecting with friends and uh, family that I don't see very much that I say I always need to contact. And I'm really going to kick FaceTime video conferencing into gear and use that a lot more to, to actually see people. Uh, tonight we also plan to have our virtual, our first virtual dinner with one of our kids and grandkids out in Minnesota. We're in Maine and, uh, and have that available. So those are four things that I'm going to, that I'm consciously trying to do as we cope with uh, all these new things. Okay, so uh, just by summary, stay sane, um, take care of yourself, don't obsess about all the things that are going on. Um, and we have lots of excellent resources for you. I'm going to um, uh, uh, show you two articles. I'll post two below, uh, below this uh, Facebook Live. I want you to relax a little bit, don't obsess, uh, have fun, and use this time as an opportunity. And I've got to go. My dog's waiting. I'm off for a quick run. See you later.